these. We're going to start with one of those little box frames from Dollar Tree. And I just took off that little middle circle with the wording on it. I just popped right off. And now I'm using my Waverly White Chalk Paint just to paint the whole entire thing. You don't have to do the bottom because nobody's going to see that. But if you want to, totally up to you. So don't forget, it only took me, I believe, maybe uh, two coats, well, not even two coats, because what I'm going to try to accomplish is making it look like it's natural wood, kind of like a natural wood with a little bit of the white chalk paint, you know, like if it's old or withered. We're going to paint that whole thing and then put it aside. And now I'm using those wall stickers from Dollar Tree again. Most of these items you're going to see me working with is from the Dollar Tree. And I love the succulents on this wall um, decal. And they peel right off. If you need to peel them off later on, they stick really well. But if you need to peel them off later on, you can. And put something else on your coasters. Which is great because these little blocks that I am using are actually the samples from Home Depot. And you guys, they're free. Yep, I said it. They're free. So you can't beat the budget on that. I've made me uh, some coasters out of these and they've lasted so beautifully. So I wanted to share me making some more. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just picking different succulents to put on the front of each one. And I would like to use different wood blocks, the wood. Uh, see how they each look different. It gives them their own little, they match, but they're all a little different. If that makes any sense. Hmm. I don't know. Does it? I hope so. <laughs> I know I drive you guys probably crazy. See, they're from Home Depot. And that backing that's on there peels right up so easy and now I'm using these little these are like for your floor protectors I guess you put underneath your chairs and things well I got these at Dollar Tree again and I just put them on each corner on each block you're probably gonna see me do quite a bit of crafts with these because they were free, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna put these we're gonna put these aside and start on putting the trim on it. And I chose to use uh the twine. The, it's like a medium sized twine. I picked this up at Walmart and uh I decided to do that for the sides. You could put a small ribbon or you could put beads, which would look really cute, beads, some brown beads and make it look more natural too. And you could put lace, like the little lace ribbons. I mean, you could do anything you want to these to dress them up. But I wanted it to be like a more natural look. And you'd, I usually just get the side of my glue gun and put some glue on there and then smear, like, tighten it up, you know? Make it dry tight. I hope you understand what I mean. Uh, I'll just get the tip of that glue gun and just put extra amount of glue and then press it down so it stays really nice and tight, that corner. And you just do the same thing to every single one of them. Really quick, guys, budget friendly. And I'm telling you, they come out so cute. People will look at them and say, oh, these are cute. Where did you get these? You know what? You would not believe it. You can tell them. You would not believe it. See how I just put the tip of the glue gun on that and then put it down there. And there you have it. Look at that. 
They are so pretty. And they look so natural. They, I don't know, they remind me natural, like a spa look. <laughs> and there's my coasters. Now let's do the base. We're gonna do the box. Now that the paint is all dry, I started doing the brown paint and I was like, oh no, I have to record this. It, I wasn't taping, I didn't notice it wasn't filming. Yeah, silly me. Uh, I have my moments, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm doing now is I just use a stiff brush I got from Dollar Tree, of course, and I'm just putting some nutmeg and that is from Apple Barrel Nutmeg from Walmart. And I'm just dry brushing. No particular way. I'm just, I mean, yeah, it's easier. You want it to look like wood, so you got to do it one direction. Uh, I know I get a little crazy sometimes when I'm doing my projects and just go all over the place. <laughs> so now I am using my apple barrel i'll leave the colors of the paint i did use in my description below uh but it is all apple barrel and you can find that all at walmart and then i did use the waverly white chalk paint and i believe the mineral waverly chalk paint i used but i get all my paints at walmart And I just keep dry brushing, just layering these paints because I want it to look like it's, you know, wood, weathered wood. I was saying that weathered wood, weathered. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. And you just keep doing it until you're you're smiling. You just keep layering it and using your different colors until you smile, until you're happy with it. You look at it and say, okay, this is what I'm looking for. So now I'm adding my white Waverly chalk paint one more time and I'm just going to dry brush it So now I'm looking at it and it's a little too much of the white chalk paint. So I'm adding a little bit of more black in there. Just so I can get a little bit more weathered look. So that's what you do guys. You just keep building. Until you're happy with it, right? That's what it's about. Keeping you happy, smiling. See, I'm happy with it. And I am smiling when I was done with that. I was like, yes, this is what I'm going for. <laughs> okay, so now what the next step I did was I got 
another one of those wall decals and I put it right in the center of my base and I pressed very firmly so it sticks really well and there you go it's placed see so here I'm just showing you uh, you could do many things with the base you can put your uh, twine on the outside around it on the inside or you could put lace whatever you like just decorate it however you want so now I'm putting Mod Podge all around the sides the inside edges yeah you have to have some Mod Podge right <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna get this little handle I got from Lowe's and I thought it was really cute. It kind of looked, I don't know, antique -y to me it did. And I want it to look kind of like a little drawer, you know, holding my coasters. So I put some E6000 in some hot glue just so it holds in place while the E6000 dries. Works really well. Hold it down couple seconds and voila there it is I got some more of those uh, I guess furniture protectors or chair floor protectors I don't know what they're called but you get them at the Dollar Tree and they're different sizes like I showed you earlier and I just put four of the big ones on the very bottom put my coasters the way I want them set and there you have it my little coaster my little drawer for my coasters.